Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Welsh Whoop here. And I've got myself a an Asus um, Flow X13 laptop. And I thought I could see if I can find myself a battery bank that could basically power this laptop straight from it at full power. Um, at max settings, this laptop will take 130 watts. And you can see that on the power brick, if I can zoom in, you should see it by there. So it's 20 volts, uh, six and a half amps. So we'll get 130 watts. And I thought, well, I went on to Ugreen's site. I seen a power bank, which I want, which I'll show you now. Uh, it's this one, yeah. So it says it can do 200 watts. Uh, it's 25,000 milliamps. Um, it's quite a nice uh, power bank. Um, and you can see some of the specs. It can it can basically go up to twenty eight volts at five amps. Um, so it can pretty much do one hundred and forty um, watts of one port. It's quite difficult to see, but one the one port does one hundred and forty uh, watts. So I thought, well, if this laptop does one hundred and thirty, which I need. And that does 140, and I thought, well, I'll be perfect for it. But I had to buy then a separate lead. Uh, this lead itself was um, a USB that does up to 240 uh, uh, watts, which is pretty much uh, 20, uh, 48 volts at five amps, which I gave the 240. So if you use, because uh, one port does 140, the other one does 100. So if you, I can power up and I can show you the little display with a little face on it. And the first part will just basically pretty much show you the voltage, but when I plug it in, I'll use the back one. Um, if you thought like me, if you try plugging this into a laptop through, this, because this has, this powers through the type C, you'll then usually get an error. Uh, it'll come up and say, uh, there it says, this doesn't fully support. And I was thinking, well, well, that's odd because it should, I thought it should work this from this power bank. So you can see there, um, when it starts using it, the volt, the actual watts start to go up. And I think the maximum I got was 92 watts. Um, and if you look on the next screen, it tells you what the output is, 20 volts. Now, I thought, well, that's strange why it didn't work this. But then I figured it out that obviously um, the actual laptop can only receive 20 volts. And if you read on here, it's 20 volts um, at 6.5 amps. Now, this power bank can only do um, pretty much... 20, 20 volts at 5 amps, I think at the maximum. So I'll give you 100 watts. Um, but it, but you, that's it. See, that this would probably give you more. This would probably step it up to 20, the 28 volts. But the laptop can only take 20 volts. So if you, like myself, want to buy, um, and I'll show you the, on the U green side for self. So there's the actual power bank which I got. And it says uh, 200 watts. And then I had to buy this lead. So it's a proper 240 uh, vo uh, watts lead. But it, it does do that if the laptop can accept the power. So obviously, you know, if you're going to, if you want to get a gaming laptop uh, and power it fully through a power bank, then you've got to be careful because of. Um, you know the same mistake that I've done, which is thinking that this would um, give that full power. But obviously, so I'm going to take um, this will ever this will only ever give a hundred watts, which is fine. It'll still run the laptop, but it won't give you the full performance, which you you know, which is what a lot of people will desire from it. So obviously, you're either going to go back to you know plug it in because this has type c from the mains electric uh from a from the actual power deck or you use this power bank and you only get 
you know, the three quarters of the power that you want. So yeah, that's the same mistake that I did. So I hope that this um, helps anyone that's that's doing exactly the same, that wants to power the laptop um, straight from a power bank. Maybe you're out or whatever. Um, but yeah, don't, don't get caught. That out basically what I've done. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.